Well, what's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, thanks to the guys at GameMax, we're taking a look at their G200 Pro Gaming headset. But first of all, as always, let's roll on that intro. So, a big thanks goes out to the guys over at GameMax UK who sent over the G200 for me to review. The G200 is their cheap, basic, pro, what well, they call pro gaming headset. It's actually like under 20 quid here in the UK. It's really cheap. One of the cheapest gaming headsets you can pretty much buy. And this is it. So we'll start off, we'll take a quick look around the box. I'll go through what's in the box. So the packaging, yeah, it's your typical. You're not gonna get Uber packaging for a 20 quid headset at the end of the day. A um, little bit of specs on the back, a little bit of specs on the front, yeah, nothing special, doesn't need to be. The actual headset itself on the other hand though, looking at it, when I pulled it out of the box, it reminded me straight away of my AKGs and it is very similar. Okay, it's rather than, there, there is no adjustment in the headset. It's one of these self-adjusting, automatic adjusting headbands. Very similar styling. And yeah, the, the styling is okay. We've got a pair of metal bands at the top here. Okay, and then there is a sort of fake leather head strap, which sits just on top of your head. There are grills on the side with some of the RGB shining through. Little microphone and a two and a half meter, rather than braided, it's actually, well it, it is a braid as such, but it's a plastic coated braid. I actually quite like the cable, it's quite thick. Um, once you've straightened it out though, it doesn't seem to kink. Um, it does though, if you get a knot in it, it does not knot, but once it's plugged in, you're not gonna be putting knots in it. And if I just unplug it quickly, on the end we have a pair of headphone and microphone, three and a half mils, and a USB. Now, most people or a lot of people may see this USB and think, oh, I can just plug that in and off we go. No, you can't. The USB is basically just power for the lights. If you don't plug the USB in, you don't get the lights. So there is no on, off or options buttons for the lights. It just sits there and cycles through. If you don't want it, don't plug the USB in. Simple as that. Also included in the box is a pair of three and a half mil adapters to a, to a three pole three and a half. So this will be for iPhones, well, I say iPhones, iPhones don't have connectors anymore, but phones, uh, Nintendo Switch, things like that, things where you have the single jack. Uh, some laptops actually now use this. We have a single jack for both your headphone and your microphone. So the inclusion of this, it's one of those little things that actually I was quite impressed by. It just goes to show that it's not just some generic thing where nobody's put any thought into it. Somebody did have a little think and go, Looking at the market, a lot of people are using laptops, phones, or Nintendo Switch, for example. Let's include the adapter so they don't have to worry. Great little inclusion, I actually like it. I'll just plug these back in and we'll go on to the RGB. So as I said, the RGB, it just sits there and it cycles. It's not massively bright, it's not Obtruse, it's not sort of, it doesn't scream though. It just sits there, slowly cycles through the colors. Yeah, I quite like it. For, a, for an under 20 pound headset, it's quite good. So, earmuffs, again, fake leather, polyurethane, but very, very spongy. On the back, we do actually have a volume dial. This is volume for the sound. And as I mentioned earlier, the little microphone. Now. I did find actually wearing them is quite good. They're very snug, they're self-adjusting, and they actually isolate external sounds quite well. What I did find though, they 
amplify that a lot. So any noises actually on the headphones themselves seems to go through straight through to your ears. They they are plastic, they are, I say they're cheap. They're well built, they are sturdy, there's no creaks, rattles or anything. But the plastics are do feel a little bit cheap and they do. That, that noise goes straight through. But then again, who sits there and flicks their headphones? <laughs> yeah, not a major problem. There is plenty of cable strain relief on the side there. Overall, build quality, it's a big thumbs up. So, well, we've looked around the outside. What did I actually think of the performance? Because at the end of the day, that is more important. Now, sound quality was okay. Um, now, I use AKG Studio Monitor uh, headphones most of the time. They're incredibly high quality and they're very clear, they're very crisp. These, they sound a little muddy. Um, things have got a bit more bass to them. That's, I don't know, it's not, they've not got bass to them. The best way to describe it is muddy and murky. It's just, I don't know, it sounds like you're almost listening to something through a blanket. But, they're cheap. If I wasn't comparing them to my headphones, if I just put them on and listened to something, I wouldn't be complaining. In game, absolutely fine. Didn't really notice it. I only really noticed it. Listening to movies or listening to music. In games, no problems at all because it's a different kind of sound. Um, it's big bangs and gunfires and things like that, which it handled without any problems. Cranking the volume all the way up didn't result in any distortion. So yet the sound quality, although not epic, was most definitely very suitable for the price range. Like I said, a little bit on the murky sound side, but it's cheap. The microphone on the other hand, the microphone itself is okay. The problem is the position. It's back here by my ear. My mouth's all the way forward from here. And I'm actually going to put a quick clip up of some sound just to show you what the microphone does. So this is a test of the GameMax G200 Pro Gaming Headset. Let's uh, have a quick bash on the keyboard and a few mouse clicks. So as you can see, this microphone, it is not amazing. I did actually have to turn the microphone gain right the way up to 100 and actually use the Microsoft Boost button uh, option to be able to hear myself and in doing that there was quite a lot of background hissing now I must admit my studio isn't silent but then again it's probably a damn sight quieter than most people's gaming rooms so yeah there, there is a hum to it um, but if you are playing in game and you're using push to talk or uh, voice activated talking that background hum that was there when I wasn't talking, you're not really going to hear it because it's only going to be active when you're talking. But the microphone, it did pick up m keyboard taps and mouse clicks quite a lot. And I, I do think this is entire, it's not that it's a bad microphone, it is down to the position of it. It's just too, if they had just put this on the typical flexi boom that you could put in front of your mouth as a unidirectional microphone just pointing at you, it would have been a million times better. But I'm guessing that uh, molding of this cheap job done, nothing to mess around with. It's a cheap headset. So the Game Max G200, what do I actually think of it? Coming in at under 20 pounds, you can't really complain. If you are on a real tight budget and you are looking for a cheap headset, yeah, the G200 is good, and if you wanted to get something better, you'd probably be spending 50 quid, not 20 quid. So, at its price point, it doesn't really have much competition. And if you are, like I said, looking for a budget option, yeah, you could then maybe look at, in the future, as upgrades, would be to then look at maybe, say, uh, a desk mic, uh, and then a set of decent headphones. I do, me personally, I prefer headphones and microphone to a headset, purely because I find that headsets are always a compromise. 
you will get better sound quality from two separate devices but hey not everybody has the desk space you could be you, you could be gaming on a switch um, I actually had a bash with this playing some Fortnite with switch and my friends and nobody complained about the microphone it it's a bit naff yeah but then I'm comparing it to an AKG microphone that was not cheap so overall yeah it's gonna get a big thumbs up for a 20 pound headset do always remember it is budget but there we go so that's about it for today guys if you've liked this quick review of the game max g200 give it a thumbs up i'm going to put some links as to where you can buy one down below in the comments as always if you didn't like it thumbs down no problems any questions leave me a comment and i will be back again next week so don't forget click that subscribe button and click that notification bell thank you very much and bye for now